It is bonfire night, November the 5th in Cardiff, and yours truly is lucky. I'm going to the game. Well, I say lucky. I'm going to go and watch Wales get tonked by New Zealand yet again. Um, however, this is a vid that I've wanted to do for a while. It's about the cost of living at the moment and how difficult it is for people and some recommendations for some incredibly nice beer at a very reasonable price. Uh, I'm just going to reach in my pocket because I think I got a receipt so I can, yep, so I can explain how much these are, where you can get them and what you're going to get basically. They are all exceptionally priced beers, really, really good quality. I think when you're getting cheap beer, that's the one thing that you're worried about is you could be getting something that's a proper drain pour. Some of the stuff that's in Morrison's and uh, Asda's, Tesco's, that's like three or four quid a can, sometimes is absolutely rancid, disgusting, and has no place to be on a supermarket shelf. I'm looking at the um, Northern Monk Faith Twist Edition, is the latest one, which was revolting. And with that, it moves us on to my first bargain, which is the Northern Monk Faith. The reason why this is a bargain, well, you can get it in Morrison's. It comes in packs of four, and if you get two packs of four, it's a tenner. You can get the Northern Monk Faith. You can get the Hop, Skip and Juice by Vocation. You can also get Vocation's Life and Death, which is a real big hitter. It's like 6% IPA. It's lovely stuff. And if you want to get drunk, properly drunk, for a tenner, that's my recommendation. So... These come in 330ml cans. It, it represents, for me, really good value. The next beer, and I'm going in height order here, is in Aldi. And it comes in at 466 for six 330ml bottles. It is Steinhauser German Lager. It is 4.7%. So it's not weak. If you remember back in the day, Beck's, well... This is what Beck's used to taste like. It is really, really good quality lager. It's zesty, it's citrusy, it's got that lovely lager smell when you open it. The only problem is you'll buy six bottles of it thinking, oh, I'll have four. No, you won't. You're going to drink all six. It's got a dry back end, so it's very Moorish. So beware. My advice is, if you've got £10, get two packs of six of that if you're anywhere near an Aldi. On to the next one. This, I think, is the most expensive beer that I'm going to discuss. This is £1.79 at the moment in Lidl. And it is from Stuart Brewing. It is their Crazy Haze. It's a hazy IPA coming in at 5.1% volume. This is as good as any of the stuff you'll find in Morrison's or Asda's for three pounds and three pound fifty a can that's around about the five percent mark it is clearly not going to hit as big as some of the 6.5 percent new england ipas that they have in there but this stuff is fantastic it's citrusy it's cloudy it's on the orange scale of the tropical kind of fruity stuff although it does come with a little bit of pineapple mango with it as well particularly in the aroma but this is is really i really really like this i've had a fair few of these lately so moving on the next beer has been absolutely brilliant for me i've got to look at the receipt because i've forgotten the price but it's steam brew and it comes in at the moment a one pound 39 for a half litre can. It's kind of like a, um, it calls itself a session IPA. It is a little bit more like a hazy lager, like a Heller's lager. Um, it's kind of dry. It's um, kind of, well, it's citrusy, it's dryish, it's it's really good. It's not a million miles away from kind of like the same thing that you get in with Steinhauser. But is excellent, excellent beer. Now, if you're in Aldi's or Lidl's and you don't remember any of these beers, but you're thinking back to what I was saying about cheap beers, Aldi's and Lidl's, there's a golden rule. If you've got 
very little in the way of money and you're looking at the beers in there and there are cheap beers in there and you're thinking oh maybe i'll give that a go if there's a cheap beer in there and it's proclaiming itself to be british stay away from it if you don't know what you're doing if you don't know what you're getting just don't bother with anything that looks british if however it's continental go for it you can get some really nice continental beers in there there's stuff like they do a Cronenberg ripoff in Aldi called 1879. Brilliant stuff. Really nice beer. They also do one in Lidl's called San Etienne, I think, which looks there. They're going for the Stella market. It's nicer than Stella. Go for that. Anyway, Steam Brew. It's been available in Lidl's for quite a few years now, maybe three, four years. It's been consistent. It's absolutely superb three or four of those one pound 39 a can you're gonna be very very relaxed at the end of it and of course it's half a litre so it's bonus moving on into some kind of away from the lagery kind of stuff into some more traditional kind of golden ale areas um hobgoblin gold at the, you can get this pretty much everywhere at the moment in lidl you can pick it up for pound thirty-five a bottle. pound thirty-five for a half-litre bottle, for a 500ml bottle. It is a golden beer. It is. It describes itself as having four hop varieties with malt. Citrus, passion fruit, a biscuit-like malt base gives way to heaps of fresh lemon and lime zest. Um, a hop kick riot of rascally refreshment. For that price, it really is. There are better golden ales out there. But you're going to be paying more for them at the cheaper end hobgoblin gold is your go-to it's, it's it's a fantastic beer it's been my go-to for a number of years now it's remained consistent superb stuff i can't believe i'm actually including this in here because a few years ago this was kind of like top end you get it in marks and spencers and places like that but now it's in lidl now it's in tesco's now it's in asda now it's everywhere and the quality of it hasn't dipped. It's 5.5% ABV. It is currently £1.59 in Lidl for a 500ml uh, bottle. It is proper job from St. Austell Brewery. It is a powerfully hopped, bottle-contained, uh, bottle-conditioned beer. And it says, an authentic IPA packed full of citrus flavours. Proper job is a big, bold and strong beer with a crisp, bitter finish. Perfect for pairing with full flavoured dishes. Well, I don't know about that, but what goes on before is what they're saying is is absolutely true. It is big and bold, but the mouthfeel on it, it is lovely. It's got a lovely hoppy, kind of zesty bit of back end. It's it's so smooth up front. It it, it really is fantastic. And for one pounds fifty nine a bottle, well, you you honestly you can't go wrong. If you come across it for that price. You have to get it. I don't know what it is uh, priced at in other supermarkets at the moment, but I know it's in Aldi's for a similar price, and it definitely in Lidl's. One pound fifty nine for a bottle of proper job, insanity. But you know, in these austere times, what are we to do? And finally, something a little bit different: a vice beer. So this you get in Aldi. It is their Rhinebacker vice beer. Comes in a five hundred ml bottle again. It is currently one pound thirty five. It's five percent if you've never had a vice beer and you don't know what to expect well if you've had blue moon the belgian wheat beer this will be similar in taste you get tastes of banana you get clove you get kind of like a, a really nice um spicy finish peppery finish from a vice beer now there are more expensive vice beers out there but on the cheap end that is the best don't go for the Pearl and Backer from Lidl if you can get to an Aldi. Although the Pearl and Backer is perfectly serviceable, but it hasn't got the same flavour notes as this one. This one is absolutely exceptional. You probably won't need four or five of them. I tend to find with a Vizen, um one, maybe two beers to start the evening. It's a lovely way of cleansing your mouth. Like I say, it's banana -y. It's very, very refreshing. It's easy drinking, but you're not going to slam it down your neck because you've got half a litre of it to get through. So there are some ideas for some bargain beers. 
They're not bargain basements. You can get beers that are even cheaper than this. My recommendation is, if you've got a tenner in your pocket, get yourself a few of these. Particularly, get yourself six bottles of this. And then with the remaining fiver, you can get three bottles of this maybe. You could get yourself a can of steam brew, a bottle of this and one of these. And six bottles of this. You're going to have an absolutely lovely evening. And of course, the other thing is that if you've got friends coming over and you want a fridge full of beer, but you haven't got the money to go out and buy ridiculous amounts of Budweiser and absolute rubbish like that, um, get a mix and match of quite a few of these, you know, 20, 30 quids worth. None of your guests are going to be saying that's absolutely revolting. They're all lovely beers. Trust me. I would love to hear anyone else's suggestions on what to get. A um, friend of mine recommended in Tesco's at the moment that there is an offer on the Sierra Nevada um, Pale Ale. And it's nine quid for, did he say eight cans, um, on a club card deal. So if you've got a Tesco club card and you can get to Tesco's, that's a really good deal as well. If anyone's got any suggestions of bargain beers but high on quality where you're not you know, um, cutting off uh, flavour for the sake of cheapening um, your spend, please let me know. I'd love to hear it. And if there are any, you know, if they're, if they're available to me to find, I'll, of course, go out and find them, give you my thoughts on them as well. Thanks for, rock, uh, for rocking up and listening. If you could give us a like and subscribe, that'd be amazing too. Really appreciate your time. Hope it's been of some help. Cheers.